Before you guys watch this video, I'm inviting you to my healing retreat here in Sedona for men only, getting back to our primal nature and the true leadership that resides in our heart. We will be in Sedona January 29th through the 31st. Click the link below and we'll see you after the video. Hey guys, Troy Casey, Certified Health Nut, here out on the land with my man Shams. And Shams is going to talk to us today about permaculture, composting, and ultimately food sovereignty, because that's one of the most important things we want to focus moving forward in the new paradigm. So Shams, what do you have for us today? Hey Troy, how you doing? Good to see you all. Um, so basically what I've got here is the soil from this land. This is the native soil, highly rich in iron and silica and very mil mineralized. So um, this by itself, I have grown vegetables in it. Last year we did, and we did get a really good, um, very tasty uh, crop of all the vegetables that we had, but it only was gonna last so long, you know? So what we need to do is give the soil back. So all of this pile over here that you see is when we moved onto the land, there were a lot of trees that were overhanging, so you couldn't walk under the tree. So we, these are all just trimmings that I've taken out, different um, bushes that I've taken out that was too prolific, like uh, shrub oak and, and some cedar, and then also uh, mesquite as well. And uh, also, uh, what's it called? Cat's claw because that stuff was just too prolific in this spot. It didn't have much diversity here. It was like, yes, it's a desert, but we want to create soil here. So we took all of that stuff that's from this land right here and turned it into a mulch. Right now, this is kind of just sitting here as a dry carbon source, right? But it also has a lot of uh, mycology and it's starting to grow down in here, you'll see if you dig a little bit deeper there'll be mycology and <clears throat> but here is what i took and you'll see that already it's starting to let off a lot of steam probably it's very hot but this is all horse manure from a local place like within the net within about 10 minutes of here so we're not taking stuff from other places and bringing it to our immediate place right so i've taken this pile this into here and this should be absolutely perfect right now to start to add to this soil Oops, sorry <laughs> to add to this soil right here this was only done about three months ago and you'll see that it's it's very dark it's very black it's already starting to decompose I also added buka, bukashi to it which is a lactobacillus and lactobacillus helps to break down things you'll see like right there it's a little bit white and that is where it's starting to break down that's also some uh, ash that I put in there so we want to really load this up this soil now there's a lot of work here to do I'm just doing a small batch right now because all of this will get mixed with this huge pile of dirt that I've created over there. So we just take this, we mix it together, and we create the soil from there. And this is not just for flower beds or veggies, this is also for the trees that we have on this property. Because, you know, there's always like optimization, right? You want the trees around you to create the most now this could take a little water to get it really really going but you'll see that's really what you'll be ending up with in the end okay so i'm going to take this and give it to the trees and everything here every plant is going to have that so it's going to start to radiate more oxygen it's going to start to radiate more health then it's going to you know basically go up and produce more oxygen for all of us right we're putting back instead of burning this and then taking it and just like putting it in the trash or something like that 
we're using it. Everybody that has a house with a garden or a neighbor, there's always compost being produced. There's always some organic matter that's being produced. We can make compost from so many different things. If it can break down in that composting process, then basically it can really, it can really be utilized. So all of our cities that um, have all these, they put uh, food scraps into the, uh, the trash. All of our cities need to switch into, let's start creating compost because we need to feed the land with what we're doing. So, yeah. So that's this right here. That's gonna be used to be spread all over here in different places. And this is my house. So I use this from this company. My Good Greens, Bukashi Pro Grow. Fermentation fertilizer. Now. Traditionally, this is a Japanese method, and what they did was they would put it in a closed, no air situation. So like a five gallon bucket, people that live in apartments, a five gallon per bucket is perfect for this type of um, fermentation fertilizer. And then if you don't have a garden, you could give it to somebody else. You could go give it back to the land in the park. It doesn't matter, but we need to be feeding the earth. This is a very, very important thing right now. So this is the other thing. This is literally everything from chicken bones to uh, all the food scraps, all the vegetable scraps. This also gets um, manure from behind us here, so uh, horse manure, and then all of the uh, all of the um, the grinded up, mulched plants that we had on this property that were no longer uh, doing the property good. So. All of that goes into there. It's a, it, this is a longer process because it's not actually in a contained thing. So ideally, if you wanted to do this in a completely airtight situation, then it would happen a lot faster. But because I'm adding in so many different things, I'm creating this super compost that takes longer, in, in my opinion. But so. Let's go down here. Okay, this paint. is my permaculture bed. All here was dug down. This is great. It was dug down past grade by two and a half. No, sorry, what am I talking about? Um, it was probably two meters. We dug down two meters because we had a lot of this brush and everything that needed to be um, either burnt or thrown away. But we didn't want to throw it away. It's from this land. It's from right here. So we're using it. We're putting it back into the earth. It went down and then we covered it with all of this. This will start to sink over time. But all of this soil that you see here will be mixed with the uh, horse compost that I just showed you, that big pile. All of that will be mixed with all of this. So um, eventually what will happen is that will be spread over all of the land and then I'll create trails and try to re um, reestablish the soil here to be basically like a food forest. So we'll have seeds and plants that keep coming back over time and we'll have areas where, you know, things will be growing just by themselves. And the amount of humus and the amount of moisture and humidity that we're gonna bring to the soil, it's gonna really um, be enriching itself. This bed right here, the one that we've dug down into, this is gonna be viable to grow really good tall vegetables like corn, wheat, um, things like that for, I don't know how long. I'm thinking anywhere from 30 to 60 years of this keeps creating its own um, uh, mycology and, and microorganisms underneath there. We'll keep adding stuff to it, of course, natural things, you know, but because we have that underneath, that um, all of that carbon putting it back into the land, it just keeps feeding and feeding. And, and as soon as we put in a seedling, it goes, where are the nutrients? And it knows, and it goes straight down and then it grows up. So that's, that's the farm here. God bless everybody and uh, have a good day.